Active heave compensation is where the winch detects movement or heave of the ship and it winds in or out really quickly in order to keep the hook static with relationship to the seabed. It's typically used for launch or recovery of specialist equipment that you would want on the seabed. Things like subsea control modules, chokes, valves, special pipe work. It's also really helpful for decommissioning projects because you can do the whole project more efficiently from a cost perspective and operational time perspective. You'd use this particular winch because it'll save you money. You can put this winch onto a local vessel and that local vessel is likely to be cheaper than a overseas subsea construction vessel. Here we've put it on a 34 metre catamaran. It provides the same capability at a much reduced cost. What we've been doing here over the last few days is sea acceptance trials. So we've been using this 34 metre catamaran, Silver Star, to confirm that the winch that we've developed is working as planned and validating its performance. This winch is special because it's, as far as we know, the only one of its type in the world, in that it's a rental winch and also it's an electric driven winch. The electric drive is a very low inertia electric drive can go in and out really quickly and provides really good performance in the active heave compensation. Its capacity is 12 tonnes in air and it can also handle an 18 tonne dynamic load. You can do this with 450 metres of wire rope. If we adjust the configuration, which can be done quite easily, we can go to much deeper water depths down to about 1100 metres, but that does reduce the lifting capacity. We've designed the winch to a Norwegian standard, which is DNV GL ST0378. In addition to that, we've confirmed that it complies with all Australian standards and Australian marine orders. We did the design in our Melbourne and Devonport offices, and then we manufactured the winch in Hackenham, Victoria. We're proud of that we've done it all in Australia using our in-house team, everything from the fabrication through to the programming and including the testing.